Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here with you on a brand new mod pack for Mod of Minecraft. How y'all doing today? So, guys, we are in Project Ozone 3, a new way forward. Yeah, that's the whole name. I ain't saying all that again. Uh, we just gonna call it PO3, probably, most likely. So, guys, we are starting this brand new mod pack. Now, you guys may remember I played... Project Ozone Light with Maruski a while back. Been a hot minute, but uh, I had a blast with that pack. It was great fun, and I am going to give Project Ozone 3 a try. Now, PO Light was, if I remember right, based off Project Ozone 2, and it was a uh, lightly modded version of PO2, and it had a ton of mods in it, so... Uh, we're going to try PO3 and see how it goes. I have been missing my sky block. Hello, squid way down there falling to your doom. Uh, we're going to give it a try. Uh, so, let's take a look and get going. Now, before I get started, I do want to tell you guys, the day I release this video, which is a Monday, May 18th, uh, I will be live streaming that day. Yeah, over on twitch.tv forward slash oblix. Uh, check me out. I'll be streaming with Jam Doggy and Maruski. And you guys may not remember, I don't think we've done anything with Jam Doggy on this channel. I've done played with him for years and years. Uh, a great guy. You'll love him. And then, of course, you guys all know Maruski. So, come on over, check us out. It'll be at 7 p.m. That's Central Time on Monday May the 18th, and we're going to do every Monday around 7 p.m. And I'll put a, a sign up here that shows you what time it is and hopefully your time zone or near enough where you can figure out what time zone it is for you. So with that all said, let's get in to some Project Ozone 3. So first thing we got to do is check our quest book. Uh, and I have rebound my keys, so if you hear me calling out keys, you'll know that we're slightly different. Uh, let's start with Alpha. So, Random Act of Kindness. So this is just a checkbox reward. We're just going to click it. We get the reward right off the bat. We get one diamond, one oak sapling, six dirt, and five of these racks, which I have no idea what they are. We'll figure it out as we go. And I forgot to hit claim. So, claim that. We got a diamond. Diamond! Fantastic. And we got music. Da -da -da. Epic music of awesomeness because I have diamond in my pocket. Okay, we got one sapling. Uh, I'm going to tell you, it's a little sketch, this first one. We could totally screw this up and have to start all over again. We have to get another sapling out of this tree once we grow it. Uh, now, so I'm going to hold my little shift key. We're going to slide out here. Far enough away from that tree, it ain't gonna grow into our face, and we're gonna do squats. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Hoop, 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 little twerking. Do some squat, almost squat thrust, not quite. Yep, yep, there we go. We got a big old honking tree right there. Nice. So, uh, hopefully, there's a vein miner on this pack. Let's see. And we have to get a sapling. Boom, come on, give a sapling, sapling, sapling. Okay, we got a sapling. Whew. Hey oh, boy, that's always stressful, let me tell you. And we got 50 wood. That is fantastic. We're going to convert all of that right off the get-go. We're going to take some of that, and we're going to make us a crafter. And because I think there's tinkers in here, we're going to make us another crafter. And for the time being, I'm going to pop it down right here. I said right, right. There. Uh, this platform's a little tight and a little stressful, ain't gonna lie, so we're gonna build us some of these here bad boys right now. And I'm gonna hold my little shift key so I don't die, because dying ain't your friend. Do I want to do it at this level, or do I want to do it one level down? I kind of want to do it at one level down, just so we don't have to jack with the mobs. But the reality is, we're not gonna be anywhere near mobs for a long time. So, hmm, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and do it down one just to be safe. 
Bye, block forever. You're gone away. It's okay, we can make more. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Now, what that's going to do is prevent any bad things from spawning in our face. The only spawnable place is this. That doesn't tell me that didn't make you a pucker. Whew. Yeah, the only place spawnable is these nine blocks up here. I was about to say six, and then I recounted in my brain place, and magic happened. Oh man, I, I thought we were doomed right there. Hey, hey, tell you, man, Skyblock. Hey, Skyblock will get you. All right. So let's go make this go a little bit round. Here we go round in circles. So we get just go in. And I want to do at least three, I think, around. And that's going to give us enough of a catching basin to catch whatever's falling off of the trees so we don't lose it to the void. So let me get this suited up. Alright, so now we got a three wide block. We can kind of run around without too much fear of falling off. Uh, or at least less fear of falling off. Let's catch that. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and move some of this goodness up. And out of there so we can see what we're getting. And let's go ahead and get us another tree going. Get the twerk going. Twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, baby. Work it. There we go. Now let's get this chopped down. Boom, and we'll see that much more stuff falls on there. We do still lose just a little bit, but we're getting a whole lot more than we were getting before. Now let's check out what our next quest be. Because I think it has to be, yeah, we need to cut a lot words in my mouth. We need to collect apples, and we need to make a wooden crook. Okay, so... We need apples. Let's go ahead and just get us another tree going. That's a little old tiny thing. I ain't gonna give us much. A little old tiny thing. For those that don't know, that is from Botania, and it is a light source, so we don't have to worry about light up here on the platform. Uh, so it is a handy little thing. So we want to be careful not to punch that and break it. Otherwise, we're going to need some turches. Uh, give us our apple. Boom, 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 boom. How, 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 how close are we to apples? Not anywhere closer than we were a while ago. Dang it, Bobby. Where are my shift key? With all this twerking. Come on. Grow tree, grow. You can do it. There we go. That's a nice big one. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Fruit of all kinds. That tree was amazing. It had apples and pears and all kinds of things. I didn't know all that could come out of one tree. How we do? Oh, right. I think we're good. Now all we got to do is build us a crook. So, we're going to need to... You know what? I think I may expanderate our platform just a little bit more. And uh, so we can. I want to make a little work area off to the side over here. So let me do that. So y'all can see what I kind of got going on over here. We got a little tree platform over there. And I'm swinging it out here to make our storage room. So just building a kind of top layer here. And I want to make sure we keep it on the half slab so we don't get baddies. Because uh, I'm not going to be able to light this up right away. And perfect. Get that all lined up. Now, I did want to mention to you guys uh, that I forgot to mention in the intro there because I got brain damage. Uh, that you guys have been requesting quite a lot. Uh, and I don't know why y'all are so interested, but hey, you know, y'all do you. And uh, I am trying to give everybody what they want so y'all you guys have seriously been requesting that I make a discord server so I finally did it uh, I've got one it is up and running there will be a link down in the description don't feel you have to by any means uh, I will still 
happily communicate with y'all through the YouTube comments, as I always have. But if that is something that interests you, you want to engage with me a little more frequently or, you know, show me uh, pictures, things like that that you can do on Discord you can't do uh, through the YouTube comments, then feel free. Like I said, link is going to be down in the description box below. And we will be happy to have you. Get these side columns in here. And boom. Nice. So we got us a little basic area here. I'm going to go ahead and put walls in here. Uh, not that they're really necessary uh, for the most part, but in later when I go break in chest and things like that to move things, I don't want stuff falling over the edge. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put walls in here. Now you do see we got a little issue down here where things aren't touching the bottom and that bugs the snot out of me. Uh, we're going to put that... Uh, we're going to put cobblestone down here. You guys know I like to have uh, cobblestone on the base of my buildings. Uh, I always think it just kind of grounds them a little bit. <laughs> ground, no ground. Um, so, yeah, I need to work on getting the walls in. We need to get some cobblestone. And then we need to... I'm going to put some chest, I think. Or some... Uh, what are these things? Crafting tables. Good grief. In the floor down here. Now, to get cobble, you need an empty hand. You need to get on to use some grass. And you need to squat and right click. Not left click, right click. Super important you don't make a mistake, otherwise you'll fall into the world. So, you get these little pebbles. You punch it long enough. You stand up, you suck the pebbles up. We got 61. There's two, three, four. So, that should be a whole stack. Nope. We can get one one time. There we go. You don't get one every time you hit the ground. Uh, so we got these little pebbles. We can take, put in a two by two, and we get cobblestone. And just like it. So, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take these edges out. We're gonna be very careful not to vein mine because that would be a problem. And we're gonna do that, and that is gonna look brilliant. Or as brilliant as we can with only having oak and cobblestone to work with. I think I'm going to go ahead and do all the way around. You know what? I desperately need an axe. I got sticks. I got stone. Sticks and stones will break my bones. But I got an axe that'll chop you. Oh, so much better. And we're definitely going to need more cobblestone. So, I have dirt in my inventory? Yes, I do. I could just place some dirt here and uh, smack upon it. I don't know if you can do the side. Can you punch the side of it? You can. Oh, have mercy. Look at that. So, see, yeah, that was only 42. And that was a good amount of punching. So, let me uh, get to finishing this up, and I'll bring you guys back here in a little bit. All right, got the cobblestone in all the way around. I am holding off on the walls because we do have chisel in this pack. We can make all these gorgeous blocks, and I do think we want to do that. But in order to use it, I need to make a chisel, which means I need a piece of iron, which we do not have yet. So, a uh, high priority is going to be to get a furnace going. So, boom, we now have a furnace. And epic music of epicness. Yeah. Apparently that's a quest. So I think I'm going to drop some of those in there and drop some of those in there. And we're going to get some charcoal going so we can make some turches and stuff like that. Uh, and we will be able to cook down our uh, iron words. Man, geez, brain damage today. Holy crap. All right, so let's check out what uh, epicness of epicness we've done. Oh, cobble, yeah, you harvest 64 cobble. We did that. Uh, harvest furnace, yes, done. Collect rewards, please, thank you. Perfect. Uh, all right, so we need to finish this quest up so we can move on to the next, which means we need to get us a crook. Uh, so uh, generally I like to avoid crooks because they're bad people, but... This time around, we're going to go with it. So, got us a crook. Perfect. 
Now, hopefully nothing bad spawns over here while I'm over here. I don't know that it's quite 32 blocks away, but it's pretty close. We'll see. Uh, let's twerk a tree into life. Oh, we got a new quest. Yay, epic music of epicness. Oh, we, well, we made the crook, right? So that was a thing. Uh, now, with the crook, you just want to hit the leaves of the tree. Bamo. And it breaks super fast. But you get these little guys. These worms. And they are super handy. So let's just finish chopping this tree down. Boom. Get all of its bits and bobs, whatever's left. Perfect. I did put a little sissy rail around here because I don't like dying. Sometimes you forget how close you are to the edge, and sometimes you forget, you know, you're holding shift and your pinky slips or gets tired or whatever, and it's just a, it's a, it's a wise idea. It's a really wise idea to have uh, your rail on there. Call it a sissy rail, don't care. Call it a life rail, whatever you want. It's a good idea. Come on, tree, twerk to life. Twerking for a living. Wow, how many times am I going to have to hit this key? Come on now. There we go. Oh, excellent. And it's a small one, which is exactly what I wanted because I want to put these little here worms in this here little tree like so. We're just going to put one on each side. Boom. Boom. You can't eat these worms, by the way. Should you need to. And you see those worms are infesting the tree. Basically turning all those leaf blocks into wormy blocks. And we're going to need us another crook. And let's go ahead and claim that reward. Boom, we got them all. Excellent. We got a juicer. Oh, fantastic. A juicer is going to give us good food. Yeah, see, I knew that quest was coming. Worms and string. So we already done the worms. We're about to do the string. Uh, so with the juicer, we can take that, pop it into our crafting grid with uh, delicious things like apples, and we get apple juice, which is better for us. So notice the apple has half a haunch and half a haunch of saturation, but the juice is two haunches and a haunch and a half of saturation. So it's definitely mo better, and when those water bottles are going to be useful, we will need those. So now that this tree is fully infestificated, we're just going to whack the leaves with our crook again. And notice we get spraying. Epic music of epicness. And we're going to punch the tree down with some worms because that's Minecraft. Perfect. And we'll just pop a new tree there and let it grow naturally instead of having to torque the sucker into life. Now I'm getting a super full inventory of super fullness, so let's uh, get a chest going. Now, one awesome thing you can do, I love packs that have this in here. You can build, if you can just put the logs in the shape of the chest and you get four out of it. You know, which is exactly, I mean, this should be in vanilla Minecraft. Because it is, you know, holding true to the Minecraft uh, mechanic. You know, the crafting mechanic and to the numbers. But it's giving you a mo better amount. And I'm all for the mo better. Uh, so I think we're going to do, you know what, actually... Actually, don't fall into the void. I don't want to make you again. Oh, we're going to jump up here. Are we okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to put you here. We're going to put you here. And you are going to be deep storage. But for right now, you're just going to be storage. So dump all this Garbo in there. That way, if I fall off the edge dead, I don't lose all my goodies. Now, the problem is, I cannot put more chest here. I can only go out here. And this side is going to be our deep storage side. So we're going to have to, at some point, make some trappy chests. But those aren't too bad, so we'll be okay. So we're going to have deep storage over here. We're going to have light storage over here. And we're going to have uh, what you doodle over here. You know what we could do? What we could do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I believe. Aren't Yaba in here? Ooh, what'd I do? I didn't click on nothing. I tell you, nothing. Nothing I say. Why you do weird things? Uh, isn't at Yabba? It is. What does it take to make a Yabba barrel? Oh, they are super easy. Okay. 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 
That's gonna be that. Uh, we're gonna need those, and we're gonna need those. Yes, yes, yes. And do 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 do. If you haven't seen these, they're pretty darn cool. And I'm gonna want about three of them to start with. And they ain't real pretty in their basic state. But... Oh, hello. Quest, epic quest of questiness. Oh, we didn't claim our stuff. Let's claim. And where's our epic quest of questiness quest? Uh, wow, that had to be further down the chain. Oh my goodness. Uh, where were you, epic quest of questiness? Lord only knows. Beta? Yeah, we did a beta quest. Look at that. And here I was just trying to make things handy. Well, all right then. We got more of these little stars that we'll have to figure out what the heck they are. Uh, so, yeah, we can pop these guys down. And they are super de duper de handy. Not, like I said, not real pretty in this state, but you can pretty them up. Don't you worry your pretty little head. Uh, we can do a like a so, and then we can come in here and we can say, you know what, you be my wood chest, and you be my plank chest, and you be my cobble chest. And they will hold tons of them, and they will show you how much is in them as you look over it and tell you what they are, and it's amazing. Now, obviously, with things you don't have a ton of, you know, like, I just there's some things I just don't have a ton of, and you don't really need to do all that with the... So, I actually think, like, probably string is a good one to have. Uh, and saplings is probably another good one to have. So, let's go ahead and whip up two more real quick. Boom and a bam. Boom and a bam. Boom and a bam. And... Burp. Just to you know, clean out the old chesticles. Boom, you can be string and you can be saplings. And we will party this up. Don't you worry your head now, none. So you can see when you got more than one stack, it tells you you got two stacks of 64 plus 33. So, yeah, I would rather it just say the exact number, but you know, what you gonna do? Uh, okay, so we have done things. What else do we need to do? Or eat or drink, I guess, in this case. Um, oh, we're working towards chisel. Yes, yes, yes. Chisel, chisel must be chiseled. Um, okay, let's. Boom. Let's. Uh, do, 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 do. So, well, tell you what. Let's try to stick on the path here. We've been getting a little wonky, switching over into beta quest and all this thing. So we need to get into ex nihilo. Uh, which means we need to make sieves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. That's just planks, slab, and sticks. We can do this. Planks. Dang it, I already forgot what the daggum recipe is. Why did my brain not work? Uh, at X... Nilio. Is that even close? No. Dang it. Why can't I spell a, a, a sneaklyo? Uh, what just call it a sieve? There we go. Okay, four planks, two sticks, and a slabby jabby. So, four planks, uh, two sticks, and a slabby jabby. We only have one stick. We're going to have to take all of our planks. All of the planks. Okay, boom. Yes, I know I have it right there at the top. But I'm going to do this to prove to myself I can remember it. Aha! Boom. We have a sieve. Now, what we don't have is a way to get up here because we're short. There we go. That is now spawnable. We need to be careful. We are going to need a sieve. So we need uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of our 
beautiful string. Do, do, do. We now have sieve. Epic music of epicness. There we go. Perfect. Claim that sucker. Now we can get into making fancier meshes and such. Wow, it made eight of those things? I don't remember making eight of them. Uh, man, we might need a Yaba for these things. Okay. So now we have to make stuff to put in here to get the good resources out of here. Uh, to do that, we're going to need Hema. It's Hema time. Uh, which means we need more... Uh, we're ultimately going to need more sticks. And we're going to need a couple pieces of cobble. We're going to need to do this. And the reason I'm not having to check the quest book too often is because this is pretty much the same in every pack that has Ex Nelio. Uh, how many of these do I have? Let's just take them all. Uh, yeah, any pack that has Ex Nelio has the same basic mechanic, so it's not uh, rocket science to uh, get it done. Uh, this pack will drift off, you know, based on th some of the mods I saw in the pack, uh, it is going to drift off into quite a bit different areas than uh, what it was before. We're going to bang it with the hammer, and we're going to get gravel. Now you can bang it again. You can take the gravel and you can bang it again and get sand. You can take the sand, bang it, and get dust. Each of those resources, the gravel, the sand, and the dust, can be run through this little grate here, like so. So I'm going to take this dust and I'm going to run it through here. And you may or may not get resources out of it based off the mesh and based off the material you put in. So that was gravel. Let's take a piece of sand and run it through there, see what we get, if anything. Uh, did I lie? Okay, apparently you can't run sand through the through this version of the sieve. Wow, we're getting absolutely nothing. Hey, there we go. We got some flint. We got something. We're getting a little something. Not much of something. See, the, the basic string is, is pretty crap. You're not going to get a lot of stuff. You really want to get into the better, the better meshes to get the good stuff. Wow, we are really, really either unlucky or... Because there is a percent chance. Hey, we got bone meal. Fantastic. So we got bone meal and flint and... Raw rock candy. Apparently we can eat it. Okay. Uh, yay. Good for us, maybe? I don't know. Uh, none of that seemed all that appetizing. So we are definitely going to need more. Now let's take a look at... We're looking for... Iron. And... Wow, that's, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. So this is what we want. These uh, ore iron ore pieces. To get these, we need to put sand into a flint sieve. Okay, so that's going to give us our a 100% chance to get iron ore pieces. Fantastic. That's what we're looking for. So we need to get to a flint sieve. To make a flint sieve, we need flint. To get flint, we need to go all the way over here to our sieve, and we just need Yep, gravel in a string mesh gives you a 12% chance. So, we are going to need a lot more cobblestone. So, time to punch dirt. Alright, I did a whole nother stack plus one of gravel, and we ended up with nine flint. We only need six, so that will get us going. That was a bit of a challenge, so... We're going to pop our flint down, and there we go. Flint stiffened mesh. Perfect. Epic music of epicness. And we can claim our reward. Because we are amazing. So next we need the iron stiffened mesh. Yada, yada, yada. Go up from there. Uh, let's get all this out of my inventory. So I don't have to look at it. Perfect. Uh, now... 
with that iron stiffened mesh, didn't that give us, uh, let's see, flint stiffened mesh, that's what we have. Yeah, 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 if we put sand in, we will get iron. Plus, the opportunity had a bunch of other stuffs. If we do the iron stiffened mesh, we get even more stuff. So, we'll collect iron, we'll turn their flint mesh into an iron mesh, and then we'll get even more things. Yes, I'm all for the motangs. Motangs, motangs. So we need sand. So, we're back to punching dirt. I'll lay it all out here. We'll bash it with a hammer, turn it into gravel. We'll lay it out again, bash the gravel with the hammer one more time. We'll get sand. We'll run the sand through the sieve. We'll come back and we'll have a ton of iron. Boy, that tree just has not grown. I let it sit there figuring it'd grow on its own. It has not. Anyway, time to punch dirt. All right, we got a bunch of sand in our pockets. And let's start sieving. Oh, yeah. So we're definitely getting some iron. We should get an iron each and every time. So we should come out with more than a stack of these iron... Uh, what are these things called? Pieces. Now, that's not going to give us a stack of iron because you have to combine the pieces into chunks. And make the chunks, you can cook and make iron. So... We're going to come out with about a fourth, so about 16. Uh, ironing gets out of all this sand. So let's finish off this one. And let's see, do we have enough to make 16 iron? No. Or 6 iron. Yes, we do. Fantastic. So there's our 6 chunks. Now, uh, do, we, do I have any coal left? I do do. So I made all that charcoal. I ended up with 32 charcoal. Now before I put it in there, what I'm going to do is you know, I took 16 of it and made torches. You can see we got torches around here. I'm going to take this 16, I'm going to put it in my inventory, and I'm going to get these tiny charcoals. These are super handy, and we got an actually edition because they're from actually editions. Uh, they are super handy because each one of these chunks will burn one item so it's hyper efficient in our little furnace here so each chunk will burn one single item that is awesome sauce uh, so let's put our all of the little goodness we're getting into here so we can see we're getting copper nickel silver tin eulorium sort of quartz gold zinc Iron, perfect. So we're going to let these cook up. We're getting our iron bars, and we're going to upgrade to an iron mesh. And boom, there we go. And you see we only use six pieces, which is fantastic. So we take that mesh out, pop it in here, pop our iron in like so. We get the iron stiffened mesh. Epic music of epicness plays because we are up. Already, yes, we did. We've now done this one. Claim and go. So we have one of these little doomahickeys, and we can finish off our sand in the iron stiffen mesh, which should give us an even different set of resources. Look at that! Oh, they're flowing in now, baby. More epic music of epicness. We got certus quartz, both certus quartz and charged certus quartz. Let's find that and claim it real quick before I forget. Uh, that is probably a B beta. Oops. Uh, way no, 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 where are you at? No. Huh. Ha ha! We're in the row. And we need to get a charge Certus Quartz and a Certus Quartz. We'll claim that bad boy. Had to go all the way to row to get that. My goodness, look how far down the list we are. Boom, way down here. Craziness. So we can just... Oh, do we do, oh wait, no, we were putting them in here, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. All the goodness is going in there. Perfect. So let's keep uh, shoving sand through little holes. All right, we've smashed all the sand through little holes in our sieve over here, and we've got tons of stuff. Not that. Let's get that out of there. And let's just drop it all into our chest here. Look, 
get all that beautifulness. So we got cocoa beans for whatever reason. We've got uh, it's, yeah, elect electroline. We've got plutonium or platinum, uh, aluminum, osmium, ooh, mechanism, uh, gold. We've got all the things, all the things. Right now, I want iron. So we can make fourteen. Iron ore. Perfect. Get those cooker rating. And we only need one to make a chisel. And we got a chisel. Fantastic. Get some planks. Get a chisel. Pop it in. And we can see all the different variants and flavors of wood we can make. I have to figure out what I want to do in here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The beauty is, if I create one and I don't like it, I can always switch it out. Uh, I want to go... Let's try these. What do these look like? That ain't half bad. Eh, stuck together, it looks worse. But it ain't bad. That's, that's a possibility. It does take durability on your chisel, though. Let's try these. Looking for kind of a simple pattern. Hmm. Not terrible. I kind of like the other one better, I think. With the line in the middle. This is always one of my favorites. I do like that texture a lot. You know what? I think that's what we're going to go with. Would like to get some more tree types and stuff, but hey, we gotta work with what we got right now. This is what we got right now. Still hasn't grown. Yep, that'll work. For the moment, anyway. Alright, I've continued working on it. And I think we got something in place. I uh, went ahead and extended the bridge the full height out here as opposed to the half height. Because I wanted to make the floor inside full height. I tried it at half height and it was just too much wood. And I didn't want to use a cobblestone slab floor. And I didn't want to use this floor. Uh, I really love these trodden bricks from Chisel. This is my absolute favorite block in Minecraft. Um... And I'm really liking these guys with it. I think they really go nicely together uh, as an edging. So so we went ahead and tore down the... Well, I extended the platform out one more. Tore down the wood uh, rail and added a wooden fence because I just think it looks better. And I can't accidentally jump. Oh, fence jumper is a thing in here. Oh, okay, so I do have to be careful. But I can't accidentally like walk up on it and fall off. Um, but I did leave this at the lower level. I don't know, just because a little bit of wood out here looked good. If I put the, gr the gray, if I brought these trodden bricks all the way out, it's too much gray. So I like a little mix of the wood and the gray. So, brought us a ledge on the outside. Don't know what we'll do with that down the road. It definitely needs something. I just don't think we have the block palette for it yet. Uh, some additional colored woods would definitely be useful. I wonder if I can fit through here. Yes, need to be careful. Okay, fine. Good to know. Added some walls just for a little bit of depth. And added a row of Carter Yeeftin tables. These are all the Tinkerer's tables, so we can put items in them. And they will stay, which is handy. So when I'm working on projects and I'm like, okay, here's part one, part two, part three, part four, I can do stuff like that, which I like to do. I uh, made a few more furnaces. Really haven't used them yet. Just had extra cobblestone. I've been sitting here banging the heck out of this piece of dirt. This dirt has provided more cobblestone than it should be allowed to provide. Uh, obviously, it did the entire floor. <laughs> as well as all the resources I've been collecting all of these guys here because I've been shoving gravel through this little guy right here. And I did make a macro for this. Um, I don't know if it's cheaty or not. I don't think it is because it is still doing the same thing. Right now, my hands are off the keyboard and off the mouse, and the little dude's just sitting there doing his job. 
So we've been trying to get those diamonds, and let me tell you, they are not coming. I think there's a 0.8% chance, a 0.8% chance of them, and I've yet to get a single one. So I've run through probably three double stacks of gravel now, plus a double stack of sand. I believe that's what it is. And this is the fourth double stack of gravel that I'm running through here. So, yeah, like I said, I did, did make a macro just so I could go fold laundry and stuff while I'm waiting for it to process those. Um, I mean, as you see, we're getting a ton of stuff. We're just not getting what we want. You know, we got iron coming out of our ears. Look at this. We're ready to cook up another batch of iron. So once it hits uh, 64, I like to go ahead and and do like I these. Or it gets four stacks of 64. I can do this so I can cook up 64 iron ingots. And pop that in there. And we're going to need to get some more coal. Uh, so. Is it one does 30? No, it's one does 8. So I need. Right? math there we go and we'll drop those in there and those in there and those go there perfect Our candy goes there excellent we come over here we drop these here boom we're still cooking up iron so notice we're using the before we use the charcoal now we're actually using the tiny coal so you can do that with coal as well uh, so one more thing I want to do, I want to make more of these guys so that we can process more than one at a time. So I'm sitting here just doing this for one block at a time. And then, I say it's, it takes a little bit of time and it's a little bit tedious. Uh, so anything we can do to speed that up is of official. So let's speed it up. So we need a sieve. Okay, this guy. Uh, four planks, a slab, and two sticks. Okay, that's all going to be over here. And we just drop these in. Bing, bang, bomb. Now if I come here and hit one, we get all six at the same time. So that is going to save us a ton of time and effort. Okay. Oh, uh, I did use these... Uh... Man, my brain is just kind of off right now. Uh, I did use these Pibbly Craft chests. I do like them because they do show whatever item has the most of them. Like if I put, use this chest, it's got 5 dirt and 17 apple juice. It was showing dirt, it's now going to show apple juice. Whatever item has the most of it is what it's going to show up in here. And I use them as kind of small Yaba barrels. The Yaba holds a whole lot of stuff. Things I don't have a whole lot, but I do want to kind of... I do have more than what I would put in here. Because these are for random acts of things then I'll put them in here. So it acts like a regular chest, but gives you a nice little display of what's inside. I think that's pretty darn cool. All right, so we got these going. Um, I'll work more on getting more diamonds off a of camera. I do want to see about proceeding on to another quest. And I want to do this one, water to clay. So we need to make a wooden crucible in a wooden barrel. So, let's look. Wooden crucible is log sticks and planks. Okay, two sticks, a plank, and dang it, four logs there. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Now we drop this guy down and we grab us some saplings. We can drop them inside and you see it turns them into water. Super handy. Since we really don't have access to water except for that one that's that we see flowing down from this little platform way down there, which we really can't get to right now easily. This will get us going. And we'll 
allow us to make... See, we've already got two buckets of water in there right now. It'll hold four. So if you look at the top center up there, it's up to 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, and 4, 0. Oh. So there's four buckets of water out of those saplings, which is awesome. Now we need to make the crucible, not the crucible, the what barrel? Yeah, this guy, wooden barrel. So we need planks and a slab. Okay, one slab, six planks. We have one. Okay, boom and boom and boom, boom. So we got that, excellent. You put those away. Go into our tools and get these water bottles. Since we don't have a bucket, we're gonna have to use water bottles. And <laughs> it ain't the fastest thing in the world, but it works. There we go, it's full. So now if we take a piece of dust, which is just cobblestone bashed into gravel, gravel bashed into sand, sand bashed into dust, and we drop that dust into this water, we get a clay block. Nice. Just a regular old vanilla Minecraft clay block. We'll take the dust. Epic music of epic, epic music of epicness should play now. Play. Yes. Epic. Epic happy dance. Okay, so we've done this one. Excellent. We'll get five more of them little doodahs. And we can move on to the lava generation. Yeah. All right. So we need to make a crucible. Ah, because you can't craft it. You have to cook it. Cook it with porcelain, which is bone meal and clay. Okay, so clay balls we got. We'll just pop these down here. Boom, boom. There's eight clay balls. And I think we only have one bone meal. Yeah, we have one bone meal. Uh, let's see how to get bone meal. It's going to be seven something. Bone meal. How do we get it through a sieve? Dust through a string mesh is a 20% chance. Dust through a flint mesh is a 20% chance. Dust through an iron mesh is a 20%. It's pretty much a 20% chance. You use dust, you get a 20% chance. And that's all there is to that. But we do have the option, ooh, we could get some glowstone if we go up to iron, which we have iron, so maybe we do this, yes? Yes. Perfect. So we got dust. We have a 20% chance of getting it. We got bejeweled too, whatever that is. So we'll grab those, we'll grab those. You go there, you go there. You come here. Perfecto. Alright. Now we're still trying to make our crucible. The unfired crucible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just place those in a loop. Like a so. Pull you out. And you will probably never ever need again. And we're gonna cook you. Oh, we still had one in there. Perfect. Awesome. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Epic dance of happiness. Because the epic music plays. 
All right, so we're going to claim that. We're going to get five more of them Dilly Bobberos. We'll put them away in our epic Dilly Bobbero chest. Now this, if I remember right, has to be placed over a perch or some fear. And normally I'd cut a hole in the floor and just stick it down there. So this wouldn't be all raised up and everything. But I don't think I'm going to keep this here long. Long enough to be a pain. I think it's just going to be there short term. So let's take some cobblestone and stick it in there. And this should bake down into lava. Hopefully. Yeah, liquid lava. We have 24, 25, 26. If we look at the top center up there, it is going up. That torch is cooking it. Now the hotter source of heat you put down here, the faster this cooks cobble into lava. That torch is about the slowest you can get. Now once we get our first bucket of lava, we can actually make a uh, platform somewhere where we put lava under these things and they make... Uh, I don't want to do it in here because it will burn my wall down. and I don't want my wall burn down. Alright, we've now got a bucket of lava sitting in here and unfortunately now I have to do something stupid. Uh, so, before I do something stupid, let's put all of our things away. Because, yeah, bad things might happen. There we go. One, two, three. We will make book it. Book it not made that way. How make bucket? Oh, do you need plate? No. I need to make book it. Okay, so we're going to have to make a clay bucket. Which means clay balls. Which I don't have. Boom, clay. Clay balls. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, I made extra, because you never know. You just never know. Alright. Fire me up a bucket. So you see I've turned this wall into these thicker chisel stone, cobblestone brick things. Uh, because uh, fire will spread and we don't want that to happen. Uh, I don't need this. I need this. But I need a full bucket. Dang it. Give me. Give me. Make me a bucket. Give me a bucket. We got a bucket of water. Pour a bucket of water in there. And wait for it. Stupidly jump in hole, place block, and swim back to surface. Ugh. And preferably not die in process. Bye, water. Okay, now we can place this block here. Excellent. And we can just place that bucket there. We can grab a bucket of lava there. And I think it's. Yeah, I figured it would destroy our bucket, which it did. So now we can retrieve our tools. We don't intend to do stupid things anymore for a little while. We can grab this, pick that up. And, oh, I forgot to show you. If you look here, if I mouse over it, you see that it says the rate is 1x. That's because of the torch. Take the torch away, it's 0x. So now, if we place it over to lava, we get 3x. So we're producing at a higher rate, which is good. So we grab cobblestone and just fill this bad boy up. Let it cook down. It'll cook down three times faster than it would with the torch. So that's very good news. 
But I do think that is going to do it for this episode. Sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. As always, as we start this new Skyblock series, I can't tell you how excited I am to be back on Skyblock yet again. I love it, love it, love it. And don't forget, guys, we've got the, if you're watching this on the day this video is released, we have the live stream coming up tonight at 7 o'clock CST, 7 p.m. CST. We're streaming with Maruski and Jam Doggy. Look forward to seeing you guys there if you can make it. If not, you can always catch the VOD after the fact. And don't forget, we've got the Discord server up and running. If you want to join, link in the description down below. Until next time, you guys, get out there, make some noise. See ya. Thank you.